olive beacons. So first and foremost, all of you, all of us, we know what an olive beacon is. An olive beacon is a, a particular stadium or a, a games where everyone from all around the world, all the athletes, they come here, they join here, and then they to, uh, play the particular games on which they are professional at. So. Uh, let's just go down to the history from where the Olympic Games started. So the Olympic Games got their names from the Olympia, which is a place in Greece where they were first held. The Games began as a religious festival. The ancient Greeks dedicated the Olympic Games to the god Zeus. So uh, god Zeus, Zeus is a god of thunder or uh, you can say he is the king of gods. So that this game was dedicated to him. So, uh, the first game was played in around 776 BC, which was um, around 2700 years ago. And they had only one event at that time, that is the sprint. A sprint is a kind of a running race, which we play nowadays, like a small running race, where, uh, where we run for a short distance, for example, for around uh, 100 meter race or 200 meter race. The race was uh, actually run by, normally run by men. Uh, a red of olive branches was placed on the winner's head. Olive trees were very sacred for the Greeks. Uh, olive reds, that are, mm, these are those reds. Uh, a, red is a, a red is a circle of leaves or flowers. It's a circle of leaves or flowers. Generally, it looks like a crown. So, uh, whoever the winner is, who won the race or who won the game, it was placed on the winner's head. As a crown. Right. So um, the four periods between two Olympic Games is called an Olympic. Every four years, for 1,170 years, the Greeks held an Olympic, which continued to grow and change. So the rest of the time, because Olympic Games are played, because Olympic Games are played after each, after each and every four years, this time period, the, the time period between uh, the four years is called the Olympiad. Okay. Uh, and then there are many more sports great, uh, added gradually as the uh, games progresses. Many more great games were included like uh, wrestling, races, boxing, pantalon and equestrian events. Pantalon are those events um, which includes the ju uh, high jump, long jump and then there is javelin throw also. And then some races. And then uh, the equestrian events are those events where we use uh, horses, where there is there's a use of horses or chariots. And then the Byzantine Empire, they came into throne. Uh, the ruler was Theodosius. And then he was a very stern ruler, was a very strict ruler. He thought that the Olympic Games distracted the people from uh, paying attention to religion. And so he banned the game in the year 394 AD. Because, they were, because most of the uh, people or the citizens, they were so enthusiastic and they were, they were so um, happy to join the events, the games that were being played. He thought that they are being distracted from the religion, uh, from the, uh, uh, they, they are not paying attention to the religion. Alright, so uh, he banned the game in the year in 394 AD. After that, in the year 1896, this uh, Olympic Games was revived again by Baron B. Coburton and it was first held in Athens, that is in Greece. So he, he revived in that particular year, it was held in Greece. And then Baron D. Cooper became the founder of the International Olympic Committee and he designed the flag of the Olympics. The Olympic flag was used in the 1920 Olympic Games in Belgium and then at the end of the Olympic, the mayor of the whole city presents the flag to the mayor of the next whole city. The flag remains in the town hall for the next whole city until the uh, next Olympic Games, that is four years later. So, uh, yeah, this is the Olympic flag which we are talking about. The Olympic flag, it has five rings which is interlocked together. And this five ring, it, it represents uh, the five nations or the five parts of the world which is uh, the America and then Asia, Africa, uh, Europe and Australia. The tradition of the Olympic flame began during the ancient Olympic Games. A flame was lit for each Olympics every four years. It burns throughout the game. There was a no, there was no torch relay in the ancient Olympics. The first torch relay took place in took place at the 1936 Games in Berlin, which is in Germany. So 
uh, before the Olympic Games start, uh, there is a tradition that uh, a lamp a lamp is being lit in the ancient Olympic Stadium, which is in Olympia. So this lamp, this uh, la flame, this flame is being uh, toot around the Greece, around Greece, and then it is taken to the host city where the uh, games is going to be hosted or played in that particular year. It's being to taken there through an airplane or by yes, it is uh, being taken there usually through an airplane. So. Uh, there, a few thousand citizens carry the flame across the ocean, across the country. It is an honor to carry the torch. It is carried. It is carried by people running, by running, walking, riding, or even by scuba diving. The last runner uses the torch he carries to light the large Olympic flame at the stadium. This flame burns throughout the game. It, it is extinguished during the closing ceremony. So this flame, when it is being lit in the particular host city. Uh, it is being lit for the entire for the entire game. It is it, it is extinguished only during the closing ceremony. So uh, the motto of the Olympic Games is "Sightiest, Earthiest, and Fortious," which means swifter, higher, and stronger. So this particular uh, motto it describes the zeal or the or the goals of great athletes or the goals of great athletes or sports person all around the world. So. Mm, there are three types of Olympic Games. There are three types of Olympic Games, which is the Summer Olympic Games, the Winter Olympic Games, and the Paralympics. Summer Olympic because there are uh, most of the games can be played in winter during winter. Also, like for example, we have uh, skiing or figure skating, ice hockey, you know. So these games which are played on uh, in ice or on the on snow or ice are called are included in the Winter Olympic Games. Next, uh, the Paralympic Games. These are the games uh, especially for the visually challenged people or uh, physically challenged people because most of them uh, they also wanted to play. They also there are some sports which they will want to participate in. So this particular games was introduced for the visually challenged or the physically challenged people. And so, uh, the picture, can you see the picture here, with this picture, it shows the logo designed for the 2016 games in Brazil. This logo has three figures in the yellow, green and blue of the Brazilian flag, which are joined at the arms and in, triple, and in a triple embrace. The shape represents the Sugarloaf Mountain of Brazil. So, this particular uh, logo, it represents the Sugarloaf Mountain, which is situated in Brazil. So, uh, all in all, the Olympic Games are a special competition or games which are being played by athletes or uh, sports person around who they all from around the world they all come together in one particular place and then they try to uh, give their base in whatever they in whatever they are good in whichever sports they are good they try they try to give their base and then it shows uh, it it spreads a message of unity and uh, peace among the players or among the citizens and in the world, in the world too. So students, this is all about the Olympic Games and I hope all of you have understood clearly about the history and the traditions that uh, that is there, that is behind the Olympic Games. And I hope every one of you will go through the chapter once more so that uh, you will try to understand it a little more better. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Do it for self. Do it for your family. Do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. We will be able to come to the end of the day. We will be able to come to the end of the day.